Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about procrastination. This is Oban Bowen, author of The Philosophy of Success and Inspirational Entrepreneur. I definitely want to share this with you guys, um, especially those of you who are thinking about uh, working for yourself, being a business owner. You know, procrastination plagues um, a great deal of people in the United States or in the world, as a matter of fact. So we're going to talk a little bit about procrastination. They do the short video for you guys. Um, you know, in a recent study that was just actually um, done in the U.S., about 20% of people uh, admitted that they were chronic procrastinators. So there's probably about 30% that they wasn't willing to admit that, right? Because they were thinking about actually saying it or doing it and didn't do it, right? That's like actually holding a procrastinators convention tomorrow. Right, the best bar to walk into and pick a fight with a group of people is a procrastination bar. So you go into the bar and you're like, procrastinators unite tomorrow, right? So you got a day to run away. <laughs> but um, on a serious note, the deal is is this: with most people are uh, procrastinating on, on on doing something, um, the reason why that happens uh, is because most of us want to take some time to relax and get stuff done. We can plan and procedurally get things done. So. In, in all essence, when the brain actually starts to operate, remember we talked about in the first video the subconscious mind and how it actually helps you to process things that you do? Well, there's 60 million bits of information coming and going and coming and going and 60,000 thoughts a day, right? So the brain already has the information, has the deadline, has the date, and typically people who chronically procrastinate the brain will remind it with an alarm clock, like bing, 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 the day or the night before that whatever it is that they need to do gets done, <laughs> right? So they'll go and they'll cram and crunch on it and get it done. You know, there's also another study that was done with two groups of students in two different um, colleges about a year and a half ago. And one of the groups was given strict deadlines on things to do and when to get it done. The other group was given the same original deadline but they could choose the times that they get different things done bottom line to that research was this the first group that was given strict guidelines came they basically all got A's and the group that was um, given the leeway basically came in with D's so it's identified that we as humans can't really just self-regulate ourselves and a lot of that is because of apathy and uh, we'll, we'll talk about apathy a little bit tomorrow but really kind of the working definition of that from you know one of my mentors David Bird uh, says that apathy is a natural human instinct right it is common to us all but it consistently forces us to seek a comfort zone where nothing ever changes unless it happens um, to be the last day before something is doing, you have to do it. So procrastination, I, I can give you a, a formula really to help with your procrastination, but unless you have a system to manage yourself around the things that you have to do, you'll keep procrastinating. So my little three-step process is this. Number one, I call, you know, eat the frog or eat the elephant. That's basically take the task at hand, um, see the time that you have to do it, let's say it's five days, divide it into the five days and the things that you would want to do and basically choose step two is choose the part that you like to do or you would like to do the best so you're actually more excited to get it done once you're finished with one part it gets more exciting really to do the second or third part of uh, my step here so it's so funny but when you choose the second part which or go to step two which is really doing what you like best for example my wife um, she more than anything else, loves cleaning the bedroom. That's like her favorite place to clean. But she's been procrastinating on cleaning the house for a very long time, right? We've been traveling, and then she actually just started cleaning the bedroom, and then all of a sudden she went to another and another and another and cleaned the whole house. It's already done. She's been excited. Well, here is why she's been excited to actually clean the house she didn't want to do, because she took step one, which was, you know, eat the frog or eat the elephant, divide it into pieces and parts, chose the part that she liked the best automatically, didn't even realize she was following the steps. But what happens is when you start doing something you like, then the brain releases dopamine, makes you feel good, makes you get really great. So she's been overly excited in the last couple of days because dopamine has been going through and she's been feeling great about it. And basically after step one and step two, step three is really just ignoring the, the sirens. You know, sirens like for um, sailors, 
They're at sea, those big, ugly, nasty things that'll sing to you. It sounds beautiful. It looks like anything as you look into their eyes and they take you away. So basically the sirens in modern day today is ignore the distractions, right? You can have uh, Facebook that's distracting you. Put some time on there even though you're watching this um, video on Facebook or YouTube. This is probably the best um, distraction you're going to have when it comes to procrastination for today, right? Ignore them, the text and all that stuff. Set aside the time that you put specifically to work or do whatever it is to get that done. So just remember, guys, unless you have a system by which you can conduct yourself, you'll fall victim to procrastinate more and more, which is basically having apathy in yourself. And again, remember, apathy is a natural human instinct. We all have it, and it forces us to be comfortable with what we're doing. So don't join the procrastination club because the meeting always happens the next day. So they'll send you a last minute of, you know what, we'll do it again tomorrow. So you'll, you will never show up. So with that, guys, just remember, I'm excited to share with you. If you need more um, information, definitely comment below. Send in anything you'd like to see me share or train on. This is Obam Bowen, author of The Philosophy of Success and your inspirational entre entrepreneur. Take care. God bless. See you in the next video.